we're back, everyone, for some more of my Dome Stack career mode for FIFA 22. And this will be the final episode before the January transfer window. As you can see, we're going to start things off here by traveling to Italy to take on uh, Torino. But yeah, we're going to play the match against Torino. We're going to send the match against Great Fruit, And then we're going to play the game against Holstein Kill. But we are going to sim all the rest of the games here in the month of December. Unless we get another DFP Pokal game somewhere in here, which... That could be a possibility, I don't know. But as far as these five games... As far as the, these five games, I'm going to go ahead and sim them. But before I continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys doing well. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into this match. Which, let me, let me go back. As you can see, a win here will secure a passage through the knockout stage. And depending on what the matchup is between Haruk and um, Helsinki, I could very much win the group as well. But um, we're going to go ahead. They are playing a 3-4-2-1 formation. Berisha in goal. Zagadou, Izzo, and Rodriguez, the center back trio. That's very interesting. Uh, Paulinho, Linetti, Nguyen, and uh, Ray and Cherokee that make up the midfield. Uh, Tony Villana and uh, uh, Jorge playing behind Antonio Sanabria. But clear skies at El Dromo. We're going to get straight into this match. Yeah, Noni might going to play my second team against... Torino, but I'm also going to play my second uh, team against Holstein Kill as well. That way, Aronson gets plenty of game time. I know. Um, I feel like he's being done dirty in this career mode, and I do feel bad, but like I said before, I just feel like Thomas Mueller has been an X Factor for us that's been getting us some really awesome results. And the uh, Bundesliga, including a 3-0 win against Dortmund, a 4-1 win against Leipzig, and a 2-0 win against Borussia Mönchengladbach. But we're going to get straight into things here. Oh, that was not a good cross by Gonda. That's not a good way to start this episode. Is anybody going to get... Thank you. Aronson? Nice touches by Aronson. And that's his fifth goal of the Europa League campaign. Still by Kenneth Taylor. Aronson, can you make it too? Goalkeeper's rushing out. I was worried that he was going to stuff that up before I was able to get in there. Aronson once again with a steal. Let me see if we sweat this. Let's see if we sweat this. Very unselfish by the American. Could have had his hat trick there, but he sweated it instead. And Brandon Aronson doing exactly what he did in my brown strike career mode. Just absolutely stepping up. Aronson once again with a steal. Can he get his hat trick? Yes, he can. Brendan Aronson absolutely stealing this show here. 
And that's his hat trick, plus he has an assist in this game. And that surely has to be us in the knockout stages, which it is. We do keep a clean sheet. Bella Fisher comes on for Soul Block, and Eddie Amy came on for Bongonda. And Helsinki, I think we just won the group. That's a three-all draw between Helsinki and Hyduke Split. Let me look. Let me look at that real quick. I think we just won the group. As you can see, ourselves and Wolfsburg are on top. On 29 points, 5 ahead of 3rd place Bayern Munich, and 6 ahead of Monte Gladbach. We, yeah, we we did end up winning the group. Thank you, Helsinki, for stopping Heidek Split. But, um, yeah, no matter what, we have a 4-point lead over uh, the Croatian side with the win match remaining. Even if we lose against Helsinki, we're still going to be on top of the group. So we will be advancing as group winners. Which is awesome. So yeah, the match against Helsinki is gonna be a throwaway game. Stanilovic has been sold. Abramson has a loan offer. Apparently, he couldn't reach an agreement to block him, but hopefully, he will for um, start a breast. I'm going to go ahead and flat out accept that. It's going to be a short-term loan deal. I miss, the, I miss the days of the older FIFAs when you put a player on on loan and they got an offer and you accepted. They went on loan. There's no BS like, oh, well, I think a loan move's good for me. But at the same time, they freaking reject it. And their potential ends up getting hurt because they don't want to go anywhere. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, we are taking, we are traveling to bottom side Furt here. Watch, we're gonna end up, we're gonna end up losing this game. Watch. We're gonna end up losing this game. Okay, they got a Veer Giver, Linda in goal, they got Ferrari. Yeah, now the uh, Brentford uh, midfielder, that's interesting. Tillman, I think that's Bayern Munich's Tillman. Hagoda playing behind Havard Nielsen, the former Braunschweig striker. I have a really bad feeling I'm going to draw points here. No, we don't. Bella, uh, we get a 3-1 win. Bella Vischer gets a brace. Goodmanson with a goal. Goodmanson's been getting a lot of goals for us in Sim on, 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 at left back, which I'm tickled pink about. And this is going to be the only other game I'm going to be playing in this episode unless we get a DFP Pokal game in December, which I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure there isn't. And we are playing this round three game against Holstein Kill. Let me see. Let me see the Bundesliga stand. Let me see if Wolfsburg end up winning their game. No, they they end up with a draw. So we are alone on top of the Bundesliga for the time being, with ten wins, two draws, and a loss to our name with thirty two points. Okay, let's see who's all left. Okay. Leverkusen got knocked out by, I mean, Leverkusen knocks out Bayern Munich, so that's a big plus. Schalke advanced, Montegladbach's advanced, and that's all we know so far. But at least we won't have to deal with Bayern Munich at any point throughout this. So, but we are going to play with our backup team once again. Hmm. There we go. To be honest with you, I'm not a real big fan of the, um, the sash design on kits. I just think it looks ugly, personally, but... Let's see, they got Darner in goal. Uh, Vol is their captain. Let's see, Neumann, Finn Purath, Masengo, Bjoling, Skrubinski, 
Pickler, some of the names I recognize on that team. I'd be lying if I said that I knew anybody else and or I, or I recognized anybody else on that team. Uh, Zentner is our featured player here. And speaking of, of uh, transfer window, I really haven't talked about this yet. I really don't plan on making any moves in January. I pretty much did my business in the summer. It's just pretty much getting rid of dead weight or putting some of my youth academy prospects out on loan. But other than that, I'm not really planning on... buying anybody. I'm, I'm happy with the team as, as is. Yes, there's been players on this team that I've not really been too super thrilled with, but at the same time, though, I really don't want to... Uh, my, my first and second teams, I'm very happy with. Okay, we are in the round of 16 now. It looks like we're going to be playing the winner of the Mainz-Frankfurt game, according to that. As Holstein kicks things off here at the Jonathan Heimler Stadium. I know it's called the Merrick Stadium in real life, but I wanted to do something special because he was a lifelong fan for Darmstadt. Anson continuing, continuing his fine form. He missed out on the Champions League final in my Braunschweig career mode. I will be damned if he misses the Champions League final in this career mode when we get to that point. Because I was so heartbroken not to play with Brendan Aronson in that particular career mode, but I'll just have to make damn sure that I'll... that he is not even on the bench when it comes to the second leg of the semifinal. That way he doesn't get suspended. Because I am not getting robbed of the opportunity to play with... Brandon Aronson again. I'm not doing it. As Bustos doubles our lead. Tell you what, Bustos and Aronson are forming a heck of a partnership up top. Yeah, Bustos is miles better than Dutch. He really is. I mean, no disrespect to Dutch, but he really didn't... He really didn't do much. You could say he was a lame Dutch. Ha 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 ha. At least in FIFA. I mean, he's a good player in real life. I do like Marvin Dutch, but... Unfortunately, things just didn't work out for him here in Durmstadt. Now that is a peach of a cross for once by Sol Barkin to Bongonda. Everybody get involved in this game. And this is what I mean. I really don't plan on... I am very happy with this Durmstadt team that I built. I am super tickled pink by this team that I built. Boost Ellis with a steal. Can you score outside the box? No, you can't. Felt kind of good about that shot. Do finesse shots still work? I think so. I think that was a finesse shot. It's R1, right? I think I just found my thumbnail. Sure, that, that looked like a, just a straight shot. That didn't, didn't look like it didn't have any bend to it. Maybe a little bit. I don't know. That could be a thumbnail right there. But anyway, we're going to jump to result. I think we took care of business here. They do get a goal back through Sterner, who ended up getting a yellow card later. Eddie Amy came on for Kempf. That's an interesting substitution. Wagnerman came on for Leibold. And Romero came on for Van Avank. 
It's like we're playing against Frankfurt in the next round. Okay, Frankfurt, Cologne, Leipzig, Karlsruhe, and Amorza Gladbach, Schalke, and Leverkusen. Along ourselves are the final eight in that competition. Okay, we got a youth squad report, which I don't really care about. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Let me, let me just take a quick look. Okay, we got these two players in at a 61. I'm going to leave Hauger in there. Montenegro was, was one of our originals in our youth academy. I'm, I said I was going to keep the faith in the guy, and he pretty much has repaid that faith. My squad number will be going down because I do have a bunch of people leaving. But I'm going to go ahead. Montenegro, where are you? Doesn't show he has any potential, but I'm going to go ahead and loan... Well, try to loan him out. Somebody else... Lacroix's up to an 84. Nice. He may end up joining... Um... Romero... At an 85 rating. I'll be so... He's not happy with his contract. Okay, I'll give him, I'll give him that. Really don't want to renew a contract until after the January transfer window. I like to actually, I like to wait until the player actually requests a, a pay rise before I do that. You'd see Balak Visha up to an 86. Oh my god. Taylor's up to an 87, which I'm going to go ahead and check him out. Rest of the video should it should go by relatively quickly. All I'm doing is going to be simming the rest of the games. Okay, Kenneth Taylor's already grown by two. It's going to take him 40 weeks on good form. He may reach a 78 before the end of the season. If he does, I'll be tickled pink. The fact that he's grown by two in a short amount of time really makes me happy. It's like he's not happy with his contract either. But like I said, I'll deal with contracts off camera. Hopefully they'll wait until after the transfer window. I don't really like doing that before or during. Because I don't want another repeat of what happened with my um, Dorado's career mode where I end up losing Palomino because I could not redo his contract. Okay, Montenegro, happy with the opportunity that I'm giving him. I kept the faith in the guy, and he's repaid me with a 61 rating, so I have to give him props for that. But anyway, we're going to go ahead. We're going to sim this match against Mainz, playing a 5-3-2 formation. I just want to get this done with. I'm not, I don't really care who's on the side. And we dropped points. Addy Amy could have won it in the 68th minute. Romero looked like he had the winner five minutes from time, but Bergschaller ends up getting the equalizer. He ends up getting a brace in that game. Same with Romero, our center back. So that's two points dropped that allows a Wolfsburg a chance to tie us on points. I'm going to tell him I want more from him, which I do want more from him. Because he really has not been the greatest so far, if I'm being honest. But yeah, this is pretty much a dead rubber game here in the Europa League. We, No matter what happens, even if um, Heidegg Split ends up winning and we end up losing, we're still going to be a point clear. Which, the way that Torino has been playing, they could very well beat them. Abramson will be going on a short-term loan to, to Brest over in France. Over in France, I should say. But we are going to go ahead. We're going to save this.
I'm surprised. I mean, he's already grown by two, but I'm surprised Aronson hasn't grown more. Okay, we're going to go ahead and quick sim this. And we do close out with a win. Sol Barkin, Aronson, and Bustos with goals. So Aronson and Bustos continuing their fine form. Zekner's a happy guy. Okay, Aronson's happy. I'm going to tell him I'm proud of him because I, I, I can't really ask any more of him. He's done everything he can. So, yeah, I have no beef with Aronson. He's been arguably my best player, not only this season, but my entire career mode so far. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably... Uh, thinking American bias, but no. I mean, I, I, it's not like I even really try to do good with him. It's just he's always there in the right opportunities, which Wolfsburg did. They ended up playing a game, which... I think they won their last game, but I think they drew. They, they, they ended up winning the match in which we drew, but we end up, but they ended up drawing this round of fixtures, which would have been yesterday. I know that sounds confusing, but... Okay, we got some decent results against Dortmund, Leipzig, and Mönchengladbach. Let's see if we can get another one here against Frankfurt. Frankfurt is always a scary team, in my opinion. We do! We get a 2-1 win. Balak Vischer ends up getting a brace. Palacio ends up getting a straight red. Mal probably makes things interesting 11 minutes from time, but... Yeah, we just keep on rolling. Our unlikely title challenge is well and truly on. But like I said, I don't really want to win the... I really don't want to win the league. I don't. I, I, don't think, I don't think we're ready for that yet. Okay, let's see the draw. Who do we have? I don't see us. There's some strong... No, that's Champions League. I was going to say, I'm seeing some really strong teams in there. Okay, that's a Champions League draw. That's not Europa League draw. Okay. I was going to say, I'm seeing some big teams in there, but that's because that's Champions League. That's not even... Uh, Shik I didn't even check Shakir's growth. I feel like I've been cheating him. He's up to an 85. Doesn't look like he's going to grow anymore, though. Hmm. I know Addy Amy's grown. It seems like it's been a while since he grew. Uh, let's see. Might as well keep him on target, man. He's been on there for the longest time. Has anybody else grown? Oh, no. I want my second team. Okay, we do have a two-point lead. Watch, we'll draw points against Augsburg. Okay, Demir, we got bigger games coming up. I wonder what ever happened to Yusuf Demir. It seemed like he was this really big wonder kid in uh, Noni and FIFA. But I mean, he still kind of is in FIFA. But in real life, he was hyped up. As a matter of fact, he got himself and moved to Barcelona. But it seemed like from that point on, you really don't hear anything from Yusuf Demir anymore. Which is sad. Wolfsburg has overtaken us for the time being. Hopefully our second team will get the job done here. Which we don't. We end up leveling on points. We could have taken back top spot. Bongonda ends up getting the point for, me, for us. Um, Niederlechner ended up get, uh, opening, the, uh, opening up the scoring for them. 
That's a little bit disappointing. I would have thought we would have beat Augsburg. Where are they at in the table? Okay, we are on top of the table, though we're not, we don't have the outright lead. Ourselves and Wolfsburg are 8 points clear of Mönchengladbach and 11 clear of Bayern Munich. Okay, they were... They're not terrible, but they're not great either. I, 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 I guess that's a fair result. I wonder when we're going to find out who we're playing in the Europa League. I might end up having a look in the calendar, I don't know. But we are going to end things off here with this match against um, Hoffenheim. We are going to go ahead and sim this. We are traveling the, over there. I think this, the arena is called the Ryan Necker, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I could be thinking of another team, but... I feel bad I don't know that. No, the pre-zero arena. They're playing a five-three-two. Interesting team. They got they brought in Adrian Rabio. That's a heck of a signing for them. But we're gonna go ahead and sim this in the snow, and we lose. Dang. Well, surely we won't be on top of the Bundesliga title after uh, Bundesliga table after that. Surely not, unless Wolfsburg somehow end up dropping points, which they have not played their game in hand yet. We are going to go ahead and just sim ahead here, and that will be it before the January transfer window. Like I said, all, all I'm planning to do in the January transfer window is getting rid of some dead weight on my team. But yeah, Wolfsburg ended up winning the, uh, that game, so they're three points are ahead of us. We got a loan-to-buy offer from Girona. One of my favorite Spanish teams. And yes, I, I know that they're owned by Citigroup, but I, I liked them even before they got bought by Manchester City, so it's not like... I mean, I think though, I think a lot of you know how I feel about Manchester City. I I can't stand that freaking team, but okay, we're just gonna go ahead. We're just gonna sim a few days. Really didn't want to close out this episode with a loss, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Wait a minute. Do we know who we're playing in the Europa League yet? Doesn't look like we do. We're gonna save one more time. And we're going to sim to the 1st of January. I am going to show um, stats and attributes for all of our players at the beginning of the next episode. And then we're going to go ahead and sim the two Bundesliga games. And then we're going to play the uh, quarterfinal of the DFP Pokal against Leipzig. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Before I end the episode, I do want to see... Okay, Abramson leaves on loan. Stanilovic departs, Cissé departs, Labiad departs, Olsen leaves on loan, Anderson leaves on loan. That should bring our squad down uh, to about 47. 48, okay. So we can sign four more youth players if we want to. As Sambi Lakonga is up to an 82. Has anybody else grown? The mirror is up to an 83. Bustos is up to 78. He's growing like mad despite him being a backup. Let me go ahead.
A lot of my players are very unhappy with their contracts. Hopefully they can wait until after January. Because like I said before, I don't want the same thing happening to one of my players as what happened with Palomino, Christian Palomino in my Dorado's career mode. Yeah, Bustos has already grown by three despite being a backup. Yeah, I'm glad I signed him. I really am. But, um... Take a look at the table. You can see Wolfsburg. I forget what the name for the Winter Champion is in Bundesliga. It's in German, but whatever it is, Wolfsburg is that. We, we did have an opportunity to be that team, but we ended up dropping too many points towards the end of the first half of the season. Bayern Munich... We are 10 points ahead of them. Borussia Dortmund outside of the Champions League spots looking in. See who's in relegation trouble. St. Pauli and Greater Fürth, no surprise there. Um, Freiburg is occupying the spot, though Mainz is not too far ahead of them. DP Pokal, we already know. Let me see Europa League. Still got to go through the preliminary round yet. Manchester United is in there. That's very interesting. AC Milan, Sevilla, Ajax, Atalanta. Some strong teams in there. Hopefully Atalanta knocks out Manchester United. Be a little bit of revenge for them beating Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final. Yes, I am still very salty about that. But I am going to end it here. Next time I see you guys, like I said before, we are going to go ahead. We're going to look at player stats and attributes uh, before we begin. We're going to start by simming these two games against Leverkusen and Cologne. And then we'll play this game against Leipzig. And that will probably be it for that episode. But yeah, next episode, uh, the majority of it will probably be talked about player stats and attributes. And then, like I said, I'm only going to feature those three games. But hope you guys are looking forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I'll be seeing you guys again next time.